and welcome to the Siebel CRM update highlights for the first release in 2022. With the Siebel CRM 22.1 update, Oracle delivers the following new features and enhancements. First, we have the CrowdTwist integration for Siebel loyalty. The debug server gets an update as well with support for multiple hosts. The infamous Log4j vulnerabilities have been addressed in full in the 22.1 update as it includes the 2.17 update for Log4j. Apache Tomcat is now on release 9.0.55. Let's take a closer look at the CrowdTwist integration, the only feature that's announced as such in the release notes. Oracle CrowdTwist is a loyalty and analytics platform available on the Oracle Cloud. It can be used on its own to acquire, engage, and retain customers in loyalty programs. Users can create customer profiles and execute targeted, personalized loyalty and reward programs of any kind. As a long-time Siebel practitioner, you'll know that the Siebel Loyalty module allows you to accomplish similar things. As of 22.1, Siebel Loyalty is integrated with CrowdTwist via the Oracle Integration Cloud OIC, so Siebel Loyalty is augmented by the various engagement activities and redemption options provided by CrowdTwist. For more information about the Oracle CrowdTwist products, follow the link in the description. The Siebel Loyalty Guide in the Siebel CRM Bookshelf for 22.1 or higher contains a lot of information how to enable, activate, and configure the integration touchpoints. The Log4j vulnerabilities, also known as Log4Shell, have haunted many administrators and security specialists over the past two months. With Siebel CRM Update 22.1, Oracle, so we can hope, puts an end to these vulnerabilities as the Siebel CRM product now includes the stable 2.17.1 version, which mitigates various prominent vulnerabilities, including the original exploit 44228 from 2021. If Siebel customers cannot update or update fast enough to 22.1, and are on releases 21.11 or earlier, Oracle advises to follow the Oracle support document described on the slide to implement workarounds that help mitigate the vulnerability. On another note, the debug server on development environments needs to be deleted and recreated manually on Windows environments to fully mitigate the vulnerability. Speaking of the debug server, Let's check out the changes for this helpful little service that's present on development environments since 20.11, back when the Web Tools script debugger was introduced. Until 22.1, only a single debug service instance on a single Siebel server machine was supported. This has changed with 22.1 as it now supports multiple host machines. Administrators can now deploy the service on multiple Siebel server machines in Siebel development environments. The Web Tools Object Manager hosting the script debugging session or the Workflow Simulator session will look for the debug service on its own server first. If it doesn't find a debug server on that host server, it will try to connect to the server on the host specified in the DBG SVC Enterprise Profile. More information about the new debug server features can be found in the Using Tools Bookshelf Guide 22.1 or higher. With Siebel 22.1 publicly available, what are the update paths to the latest release? The good news is that nothing has really changed from previous releases such as 21.12. 22.1 is merely a monthly update in the continuous release model of Oracle. So it's only the successor to 21.12, not an entirely new product. Let's review the mandatory and optional steps for a successful update to Siebel CRM 22.1 or higher. First, it's highly recommended to take a backup of the entire environment and the database that you're intending to update. Then the Modular Deployment Engine, MDE, needs to be executed, as has been the case with all releases since the inauguration of the MDE in 21.2. The MDE provides the binary update. There's a wider version gap, you'll also get a topology update to the unified directory structure. This applies to any enterprise server component such as AI, Siebel Server, or Gateway. 
It's mandatory to run the POST install database update, which can be run automatically as part of the MDE or manually after the MDE is finished copying the binaries. This has to be executed once per database and import schema changes, seed data and open UI manifest data into the target database. Make sure to verify the report and the log files and rerun in case of errors before you continue. There are also optional steps which might or might not be applicable to your situation. The repository upgrade utility is optional and it can be run only against a development database. It should be run only if you intend to uptake the so-called non-mandatory changes made by Oracle, such as the recent CrowdTwist integration. The CrowdTwist integration is implemented on the Siebel side as a collection of workflow processes, integration objects, business service and seed data changes. If you intend to implement the CrowdTwist integration or any other non-mandatory feature that Oracle ships with the monthly update, you would have to run the repository upgrade. The result is an integration workspace that contains the non-mandatory repository artifacts. Developers can then inspect and test the Oracle manufactured objects and subsequently deliver them into the main branch or another integration branch. The release notes contains configuration constructions which you might have to apply in your development environment if necessary. There are known issues reported in the release notes as well so make sure you understand and apply the workarounds if necessary. And finally, there's a bunch of non-repository administrative changes which you might have to take care of, such as the aforementioned debug server recreation on Microsoft Windows. The complete update process with all required and optional steps in gray and green respectively is depicted on the diagram. Here we can see the update process for development environments where the fast track to a successful update is as follows. Take a backup, run the MDE, run the post installed database update. If you have no repository upgrades, configuration instructions or administrative changes to implement, you're done. If you need to execute the non-mandatory repository upgrade or apply configuration instructions, you have to do that in the development environment and test and deliver these changes. If you have any administrative changes on your to-do list, you have to implement them as well before declaring success. The same is true for test or production, also known as RR environments, where the update process is a little shorter. The mandatory steps are the same. Back up your environment, run MDE, run post-install database update. If there's nothing else to do, you're done. Of course, you have to repeat the update process on every Siebel instance. If the DR update included repository changes, you have to use the migration application to deploy the new and updated artifacts from the development environment to the runtime environment. Similar to the DR environment, you might have some administrative changes on your checklist that you need to execute before declaring the update complete. The 22.1 update marks the release of Siebel CRM 2022, or Siebel 22 for short. So let's take a look at the path for an upgrade from a version prior to Innovation Pack 17 to the latest and greatest release. If your current Siebel CRM version is below IP17, you find yourself in the lower portion of the diagram. This means that you have to conduct an upgrade project to get to Siebel 22.1 or higher. The duration of a Siebel CRM upgrade project is measured in person months, sometimes person years. The project complexity and duration are tightly coupled to the number of customizations you have applied over the years and also to the age of your Siebel application. In a nutshell, the more time and money was spent on customizing Siebel, the more time and money will have to be spent on the upgrade. If you come from a very old Siebel release, such as Siebel 7.5, you have to execute a two-step upgrade. One-step upgrades are supported from 7.8 up to 8.2. Upgrades from these ancient releases also require a migration from the ActiveX-driven high interactivity client to Siebel OpenUI. If you're on a younger version, such as Innovation Pack 13 to 16, you're on the incremental repository merge, 
IRM track, which is still a lengthy process but much more streamlined. You might not even have to migrate to OpenUI as you're already using it. Upgrade projects are conducted using the latest Siebel CRM update available at the time you start the project. At the time of this recording, that would be 22.1. The upgrade path is direct from any version prior to IP17 to 22.1 and higher. If you already ran a successful Siebel upgrade to IP17 or higher, you might be on any version between IP17, Siebel 18, 19, 20, or 21. To get from there to the latest update, you execute the aforementioned update process. The real benefit of the continuous release model is evident here, as the update process will at most take a few person days. Learn more about Siebel 22 with the brand new Siebel 22 workshop on the Siebel Hub. Go to SiebelHub.com and start learning today.